What will life be like in 2050? Sprawling, eco-friendly megacities, a global population exceeding 9.8 billion, and far-reaching inventions that marry biology and technology all lay ahead of us. Today's world is one filled with ideas, innovation, and imagination, making us perfectly poised to speculate on what the world will become in just over three decades. It may seem dangerous to cast our eyes so far ahead across decades of exponential progress, but in today's research we find find the seeds of the era-defining technologies that will come to be. In the 1950s, Alan Turing considered the ghost in the machine and challenged his contemporaries to consider whether we could truly create intelligent, if not sentient, machines. Now, with deep neural networks and other artificial intelligence approaches, we find ourselves edging ever closer to an idea first posed over 60 years ago. Turing's vision has almost been realized, and within this feature, we will uncover analogous ideas that may grow, just as Turing's vision did, into technologies that will bring similar disruption to the world of 2050. As the collective pool of human knowledge continues to expand, we will increasingly see branches of research broaden their perspective and bleed into different areas of investigation. Such fusions of science and technology will play a pivotal role in the years to come. For example, forensics may start incorporating the staggeringly broad applicability of data science. Researchers at Oxford University have for the first time uncovered genetic variations that are strongly associated with particular facial features. As we move forward and others inevitably expand on this novel finding and the link between a person's unique genetic code and their facial features is revealed, a wanted person's DNA will suddenly reveal much more than just a simple match on a known criminal database. Amazingly, police officers in 2050 will likely be able to create an accurate facial model from a mere drop of saliva or single strand of hair. Then, with the help of smart computer systems, they will be able to to scour the area with drones and locate their target. At the center of this cross-disciplinary technological marvels, however, will lie brain-computer interfaces similar to the kind being developed by Elon Musk's Neuralink. This intriguing company endeavors to create a neural mesh capable of directly linking to the cloud, forming a bridge between our thoughts and the electronic world around us. Musk rightly points to our current reliance on smartphones and namely how we loathe to be with without them as evidence that we're already bound to technology. But in 2050, this connection will have deepened to the extent that we will have access to implants that form a neural interface around the outside of our brains. For those equipped with such technology, information from the web will be directly delivered to their thoughts on a moment's notice, much to the chagrin of pub quiz runners. Electronic devices will be controlled just by thought, and people will be able to enjoy consensual telepathy. This may seem the product of sorcery, but in 2050, when technology will be even more integral and abundant than it is today, interfaces that permit easier interactions with our creations will become hugely advantageous. The medical applications of this technology are also worthy of mention, as those with brain and other central nervous system injuries will be able to utilize this technology to circumvent severe connections via the cloud. As a result, communications between the brain and limb will be restored, and those who are severely paralyzed will be able to more easily interact with the outside world. The places we inhabit will also have transformed by 2050. For those who live in rural areas, more land will become available for biodiversity to prosper in once more as agricultural land will be stripped back. With a swelling population, we may expect farming land demand to grow rather than dwindle, but many meats will be available in the form of jab grow varieties, and cities will employ vertical farming to generate food supplies. Vertical farming, where tiers of crops are stacked atop one another, may take up residence as great glass skyscrapers in tomorrow's cities. There, they will be able to grow nutritious crops including tomatoes, lettuces and greens, as well providing greenery to the urban landscape.
Many nations throughout the world are committed to cutting down their carbon footprint in the coming decades with the hope that by 2050 it will be significantly reduced. A vital part of this vision includes an increased reliance on batteries and other electronics, which will be key for renewable energies and emission-free electric cars. But mining enough precious metals to meet the ever-growing demand represents a serious hurdle. One undesirable answer to this problem is to employ deep-sea mining that targets hydrothermal vents. These are known to be rich in metal deposits but are truly remarkable oases of life and may even be where life began, so a better alternative is needed. This will come in the form of off-world mining on local asteroids, as well as our closest companion, the Moon. Mining the Moon holds great promise thanks to its deposits of helium-3, an isotope ejected from the Sun that will eventually be used as fuel in nuclear fusion reactors. With robot workers and giant 3D printers to create infrastructure, off-world mining will be able to provide us with a continuous supply of precious and much-needed resources. Smaller-scale vertical farms may also be affixed to the sides of older buildings, providing cleaner air and extra food sources. It has been estimated that the largest vertical farm structures could provide food for up to 50,000 people. Food loss from transport and storage will be eradicated, fewer pesticides would be needed thanks to the segregated environments, and crops could be grown throughout the year. And as an added bonus, sealed vertical farms would naturally recycle their own water supply, making the process even more economical. As a whole, we will find 2050's mega cities considerably better equipped and more self-sufficient than those of today. Bioengineered microorganisms will help to clean the water supply, lowering the energy expenditure required for water processing, and we may even save power in the evenings as street lights are replaced by glowing trees. These will be products or technologies that will build upon the success of MIT scientists, who at the end of 2017 successfully engineered leaves using nanoparticles that glowed vibrantly under the plant's own power. Providing both light and beauty to the city, the glowing trees will help transform our metropolises from concrete jungles into otherworldly visual spectacles. Some of the ideas we have visited thus far in this feature have been likely, some a little more speculative and others wishful, but one thing that companies the world over are barreling toward is autonomous systems. A world dominated by self-acting machines seems to be etched into our destiny, as every year we uncover greater possibilities and achieve new milestones, some of which have come decade before their predicted time. Fortunately, this won't lead to an ominous revolution of robots and their artificial intelligences, but rather an integration of autonomous systems into nearly every facet of our lives. They will become the tireless worker drones that gather, process and organize our data, clean our offices, deliver our parcels, and so much more. If we look around us today, we can see that this change has already begun. Stockbrokers rely on algorithms to predict fluctuations in the stock market. Facebook programs dig through our internet cookies to learn the right advertisement to feed us, and fast food chains are replacing stuff with burger flipping robots. There are a slew of reasons for this major cultural shift. Algorithms and robots will prove cheaper for companies, more efficient, and when handling data, simply far superior than any human counterpart. The only major hurdle left to overcome in the following years involves teaching machines how to perform a job optimally. But once they've learned it, you can be certain that they'll be much more capable than their human predecessors. So what does this mean for jobs? For some, it will mean a much easier working life. Such beneficiaries will of course include most large business owners, but disciplines such as medicine and the patients that they treat will be bolstered by artificially intelligent support. A multitude of disease diagnoses, for instance, are still assessed by eye alone. This outdated approach has an element of subjectivity and is prone to error, but machines that have been trained on tens of thousands of images will be able to aid medical practitioners by accurately diagnosing diseased tissue. 
An aging population can be a fearful prospect for future generations due to the economic pressures of having to provide and care for a considerable portion of a country's citizens. But what if old didn't have to mean infirm? What if we could prevent the effects of aging and keep people fitter and healthier for longer? A reality such as this one should be in effect by 2050 with the help of revolutionary regenerative technologies such as telomere extension. Telomeres are essentially the caps on the ends of our chromosomes, made up of long strings of basic genetic building blocks that are slightly shortened every time a cell divides. When the telomere is gone, the cell can no longer properly replicate and instead it dies. In a way, telomeres represent our natural lifespans and with recent progress, researchers have shown that extending telomeres with the help of proteins can restore cell division and prolong life. So for someone born in 2050, age-related issues including hair loss, compromised bone marrow, and heightened cancer susceptibility will be a problem from another century. Yet for many other careers, machinated workers will simply offer a favorable alternative to human employees. One study estimated that certain sectors could see up to 50% of jobs being handed over to robots and all by 2030, and we can be certain that the following two decades will see machines grow exponentially more capable and many other careers careers will come under threat. Jobs that require empathy and creativity are currently believed to be immune to the incoming automation, but can we be so confident that a machine won't be able to outperform a human in these areas by 2050? Those vying for the remaining jobs, which will likely include policing, governing, teaching, researching and counseling, will face a fiercely competitive environment, especially as the global population is set to increase to nearly 10 billion by 2050. As a result, we may find ourselves in the era of universal income, where the governments of the world will provide pay to adults without them having to work. This way the economy keeps turning and the population becomes able to invest their time in whatever they please, free from the pressure of generating income. It would represent the greatest change in our daily lives for hundreds of years and pave the way for people to continue the phenomenal technological upward trend of the past 50 years.